pumpkin lovers, and welcome to the first annual Pumpkin Fest. 31 days of non-stop pumpkin experiments. Join me as I consume three pumpkin products a day. Store-bought, homemade, family desserts, or hard liquor. We have it all at Pumpkin Fest 2020. All right, so welcome to Pumpkin Fest Day 4. As I've mentioned earlier, plans were changed, so I'm just going to do this on the road. And I don't know about you, but I am not a fan of Starbucks. I haven't been there in about a couple years, but my sister makes the claim that the cold brew is something worth going for. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't tried any real cold brews. I kind of avoided the trend when it came. But now that it's here to stay, I might as well get on the bandwagon now. First, it had to go venti, but... Looks like this is really, well, it was a lot darker when I got it. A lot of the cream seems to mix it in, but I kind of want to get a little more in. And we're just going to do this live from the car. All right. So we have this, well, it's definitely what they're, it's called the pumpkin cream foam. And that's definitely what it tastes like. Really sweet. Very light, well not even light, it's pretty much like heavy pumpkin spice. Just heavy pumpkin spice over light. It kind of tastes like the whipped cream I made, but probably a little bit lighter and definitely more pumpkin flavored. So this is kind of what I wanted originally to have that cream taste like. But, all right, so we're making that black coffee a lot less blacker, so that's not gonna kill me, that's good. All right, there we go. Okay, I think I've got it goodly mixed in, and like I said, I haven't tried any cold brews. This is my first time trying this cold brew uh, cream, the sweet cream, and this is my first time in years coming to a Starbucks. Let's see if I'll be coming back. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I'm actually shocked at that. For one, the coffee's not burnt, so that's awesome. But two, I think what's really making it is the pumpkin cream itself. The cream itself is actually, I think it's because it's sweeter, it actually really helps it out. Breaks it down. Like, I could feel like if this coffee was even a little bit more burned like they normally do, it probably wouldn't be as enjoyable. But I think either I got it really good today or Starbucks has kind of made a turn. Mm. Oh, wow. That's really good. Now the cream itself, not too thick and not too sweet, but it's really strong in the spices, which is what this really concentrated coffee needs. Oh man, I actually really enjoy that. This is uh, the only problem is because it's actually so good, I might actually sit through this a little too fast, even for a venti. But wow, yeah. So cream on its own. Like I said, just like everything else we've done in Pumpkin Fest this a whole month so far, cream makes everything better. Because I'm pretty sure, looking at how, from how dark the coffee was, I don't know if I'd enjoyed it on its own, but it's starting to mix up really nice. It has a nice look. The coffee itself is actually pretty good compared to how normally Starbucks makes it, so that's great. The cream itself is great, and just combined, I am really shocked that I put off coming to Starbucks for so long. I may actually just try the sweet cream on its own, but... This is, uh, glad I actually came. I owe my sister an apology. Yeah, I think I'm going to be getting this again later on this month. Yeah, awesome. Coffee not too strong. Cream great. I'm definitely going to be getting this later on again. So, so far the first store bought Thing of Pumpkin Fest, and it is a success. Let's hope every other store delivers on that this month. All right. On the next one. All right, so just to follow up, I've been driving around for about 10, 15 minutes now, letting the coffee settle. And as I get closer to the bottom where the cream has a harder time reaching and I guess more of the concentrated burnness has sunken down to, I'm realizing that this is not as good as it started off as. And it's because Starbucks has always burns the shit out of their coffee. And I think if I were to uh, get this anywhere else, I'd probably think it's the best thing ever, but as of right now, I just really like it. And as always, cream stays saving everything this month. And this pumpkin cream is awesome. Burn coffees, whatever. Overall, not as much as when I first started it, but still will get this again. And I probably will tomorrow. 
All right, welcome back to day four of Pumpkin Fest with item two with Trader Joe's Pumpkin Spice Granola Bar. And it is exactly what it sounds like, heavy granola with all the ingredients of it, with all the com combinations of seeds and rolled oats, but also pumpkin spice, including puree, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin spice, and of course, clove, because you can't be Trader Joe's without some heavy clove. Now, as you can see, I've already opened these up before, but, Let's see how I feel about it. That was a week ago. Maybe I might like them more. As you see, it kind of looks like bird food, even more so than most granola. Almost looks like a cake or a pie with a piece of chocolate crust at the bottom. Oh, look at that. And right off the bat, you smell light pumpkin spice. It's more of the cocoa that's overwhelming. You got the pumpkin seeds at the bottom. It's really strong cocoa, and then after that, really, really strong cinnamon, and then the pumpkin is the last that you smell of it, though. So, cocoa in itself is actually really good. There's no pumpkin in the cocoa. I'm going to assume it's all in here. But, let's give it a go. Mm. I actually like it a lot more this time. I think when I tried it last week, I was kind of disappointed in you know, but as we carry on through Pumpkin Fest, our expectations tend to rearrange and we see things in new perspective. Like my enjoyment for Starbucks. But it's got a nice crunch. The granola itself is very light on the pumpkin spice. And aside from the pumpkin seeds, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell. You just think it's cinnamon and dark chocolate granola. And that's really what it tastes like mostly. And it smells like pretty much exactly. This is granola, cinnamon, and chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. There's a reason they put 66% coca dark chocolate because it tastes like 76% chocolate and then the rest granola. But I like it though. It's a very strong flavor with the chocolate. It's a very strong flavor with the chocolate. And actually pretty goes pretty good with the Starbucks. Um, Really enjoyable snack. Um, granola is always a lot to eat. So, if I do buy this again, it's a kind of one pack for the whole season kind of thing because this will last you a while. And overall, the chocolate's good, the granola's good. It's just the pumpkin that's a little kind of disappointing about it. There's a pumpkin item that's on the lesser tier of things I've had. But just as far as granola goes, pretty good. And then up next, we have the pumpkin spice pretzel slims, also by Trader Joe's. And like always, as you can see, they actually look pretty gross inside because they've melted together. And as you can see, I've already opened these up, so I have tried these before, but let me give you my fake instant reaction right now. And it is just a slim pretzel covered in yogurt and pumpkin spice seeds. And that's a big ass ingredient list, but it's all the general, the descriptions for pumpkin spice, the descriptions for pretzels, and the descriptions for yogurt. Well, smells more sweet than anything. You smell the yogurt, and then after that, next is the spice. But it's all the spice, though. You smell the clove, the cinnamon. Mmm. Nutmeg. Nutmeg is the biggest thing right here, actually. I take that back. Nutmeg is what you smell most. And then you look at it, you see the seeds up close. But let's give this a shot. Whoa, that is super sweet. Wrapped right about the yogurt. And intensely sweet, but these are good. They're almost too sweet. Whoa, these are ridiculously sweet. That is some heavy sweetness in that yogurt. But at the end, the sweet, the saltiness of the pretzel balances it out. And then when you have the little crunchy seeds, give it an overall nice texture. The pumpkin flavor itself isn't that strong. You smell it more than you taste it, but I like the, uh, it's got a nice feel to it that it maintains crunchiness still. 
And, you know, I've been liking it. The reason it's already almost done is I've been picking them at, picking at them a little by little each day, just trying to hold off. And I was like, you know, let me just knock this review out now because they probably won't make it till next week. Again, like I said, if they weren't so overwhelmingly sweet, I probably might be on my second bag, like I am with my pumpkin bread from Trader Joe's. But, that's something some burned ass coffee can't take care of. Mmm. But yeah, these taste exactly what you'd expect, Lauren. Yogurt covered pretzel with minimum pumpkin spice. That's more the uh, seeds, I think, bringing out the pumpkin flavor. But it's all right. If anything, it kind of reminds me of when you get those uh, sweet roasted covered um, pecans that are in pie. Just doing that, but roasting pumpkin seeds in like a pumpkin kind of sauce. But it's definitely on the sweeter end though. So if you like sweet pretzels, this is for you. And if you don't like pumpkin spice, this is definitely for you too. If you're very subtle with it, these two, not bad. And there's a reason I wanted to read them together. I, I like them. And I actually make a great pairing with this one. So especially if Starbucks knowing them, they will burn their coffee, which means it'll go hand in hand with this. But yeah, that is it for Pumpkin Fest Day 4. How to